Hello, everybody. I'm a few minutes early, but I figured I'd come on here and chat with everybody until someone else comes on. I've been wanting to make this quilt for a while now, and I think it's going to be fun. There's already been a few ups and downs, which I will show you. Um, and hopefully, if we're going to make mistakes, let me make those mistakes. You can learn from my mistakes. The whole idea of this sew along is to just, I haven't made the quilt yet. We're going to sew it together and we'll see how it goes. So, uh, Got everything cut and ready to go. I've been good since my retreat. I'm drinking a ton of water since I found um, Circle. One of the girls at the retreat, one of my friends had it. And I don't like water. I am just didn't like the taste of it. I'm not, I don't like seltzer water. I don't like any of that stuff. And um, I've tried this. So now I'm drinking one hot cup, tea, cup of tea a day. And the rest of the time I'm drinking water, which is amazing. I've been drinking more water since July than I have probably in my entire life. I'm going to keep sewing while you guys, while I wait for you guys, because we got 10 blocks to do and I've only gotten two done. Um, when you come on or when you see this, let me know if you are, if you have the kit, the Tula Pink kit, or if you are picking fabrics. I'm kind of curious. I've had this kit for quite a while. 
and I've been dying to put it together. So this is a great excuse to do a pretty class. And I think after this one, I'm this weekend I gotta find my um Amanda Murphy Frolic Bloom Quilt Kits. I have three of them. I have one of each color. But I think that's the next one I'm gonna do. Let's see. We'll see. Couple more minutes. Giving everybody a couple of minutes to come on. Make sure you say hi when you guys come on. Then if somebody's here. Fun You're going to need the pattern, everybody, because I'm not going to give you sizes at all. I'm not going to tell you how to cut them. I'm not going to tell you what size the blocks are supposed to be because you need the pattern. I will tell you, even with the pattern, it's a little bit for the kit, trying to figure out what fabric goes with what. So I'll show you how I figured that out. It is Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It means it's sewing day, butterfly day. Okay, let me finish this one little part here and then we'll start sewing the class. Because I guess nobody's going to be here but me. That's okay. All right. All right, let's see. Hi, Stephanie, nice to see you. All right, let's start. You, um, remind me, Stephanie, you have the kit, correct? You too. You do have the kit, correct? Oh, good. Okay, great. Let me show you something because... The first thing that we've got to do is cut fabric. Now, I've cut all my fabric, but I had to do it twice because I didn't count enough. And I'll show you what I mean. When you're looking at, and I'm not going to, there we go. I'm not going to show you, you know, c c numbers or design, I mean, uh, cutting figures. But when you're looking at this, it's very hard to figure out which fabrics go where. So what I did, let's see, did he, did he, did he? Hmm. 
wrong one. Ay, ay, ay. Hold on, just give me one second. I thought I was all set up. All right. What I did is on page 30 in the pattern, it has this portion. It shows you the layout of the wings. And this is what I used to figure out what, because we're doing these blocks here is the first block. So this is how I figured out what fabrics to cut on page 30 and 31. Um that between that and then going back to the first page for the for the um block which has all of the cutting instructions over here that's how i figured it out okay second mistake i did you get to learn from me so you don't do any boo-boos hold on Where are we? I can't see me. Why can't I see you? Hold on. Oh, there we go. That's better. Now I can see you. Good afternoon, Karen. Okay, so the next quest problem was I cut because I was using that page 30 and 31 to see what fabrics I'm using in this kit. I only cut one set of blocks and we have to have two sets of blocks because you're doing the picture on 30 and 31 only show one half of the butterfly okay. yeah so i had to go really quickly and recut some more so if they tell you four of each one of these cuts cut eight they tell you two cut four hopefully that makes sense because you're going to make two of each block. Everybody get that? Good, Stephanie. And the pictures on 30 and 31 are really going to help you if you have the kit like we do. If you don't have the kit, then it's not as big of an issue because you should know the fabrics you're going to pick. And this is a good one for scrapping, you know, for, for your um, stash because 75%, maybe even 95% of the fabric is only quarter yard or a half yard with the exception of the background fabric. So, let's put these aside. I have all of my blood. This is what we're doing, just as an FYI. I've only did two, just to make sure I know what I'm doing. But I got a whole bunch more to do. So I figured we'll sew them. What I did, is I just set up my squares 
in each side in layers. And then I turn them over so I'm putting the right side together. Meaning I started stacking them with the big one and the little one as we go. So by turning it over, they're in the right order. Okay. And I'm going to chain piece these four at a time. So. And after I get these done, then I got to work on jubilation some more. So all I'm doing is putting the first side on. Now, another thing I want to tell you, okay? Not everybody is good at a quarter of an inch. So that's okay. Don't freak out if your block's a little bit small or a little bit bigger than what they tell you. Go with it. The key is to have your the seam allowance consistent throughout the blocks. As long as it's consistent, all the quilt will come together. It might be a tiny bit bigger or a tiny bit smaller than what they say. But consistency is the key. So too many people, I've had too many customers in general try to freak out because the quarter inch isn't perfect. But that's okay. As long as the quarter inch is the same, your seam allowance is the same throughout, you're not going to have a problem. Okay, now I'm going to iron my seam. Did we lose you, Karen? Are you still with us? Okay. Now, I highly recommend Best Crest Starch, especially when you've got a ton of pieces. You're going to be making a lot of blocks before we sew the blocks together to start making order parts of the quilt. So, the starch, or in this case, Best Crest, which is a starch alternative, will help you piece accurately, get your pieces lined up, and it'll help keep everything together until you're actually ready to sew the blocks to each other. Because we're gonna be putting this together in portions. Okay. So we've got one block, two block, three block, four blocks, all a bunch of blocks together. You're going to put them together in portion. All right. And I tend to. Put the blocks back down in the same position that I'm supposed to piece them. Just because it keeps me consistent. So I don't sew one piece to the wrong side. That would not be good. Now we're going to put our second side on. I will be putting these videos on YouTube, hopefully the week after that they are 
you know, um, the week after each class, just depending on my schedule and the time it takes to clean the videos up, videos up a little bit. This one's an easy block. Most of them are going to be easy blocks. So what else are you working on, Miss Stephanie? Ah, I love the kaleidoscope quilt. I'm working on jubilation starting for a January class. Seen that one yet? It's using the Studio 180 rulers too. I love how that one's coming out. Oh, let me show you. <laughs> oh, well, I love helping people pick out fabrics. It's one of my favorite things to do. There's jubilation. And... Here are my fabrics. Aren't they pretty? Plus white, obviously. Let's see. Let's see if I can show you. I'm doing the videos at the same oops at the same time um, as I'm making the block. So hopefully the class, this might be my first complete class on um, my class website. These are pretty. I know I'm an enabler. Hey, listen, you know the rules. Everybody's got to be having as much fun as I am. If I'm crazy, you got to be too. And if you're not crazy, I will teach you. Oh, yeah. And I guarantee you, I'm going to be with Because I got to get the fabric before you can. I got in motion. I got two yards, two or three yards of all the in motion fabric that came in a week or so ago. I got to find the right pattern because there's five colors. I haven't been able to find the right one yet pattern to make with it. That and this week in this mess of a studio, I have to find my Amanda Murphy Frolic Bloom Quilts. I'm going to make at least one to top, maybe two. I have all three colorways. So I'm going to put those on the long arm. Do some classes. I just got to get the tops done. Oh, see, my husband didn't see the move. My husband was overseas when I moved to Florida. He wasn't even here when I opened my business up north, closed the business, or came down here. So he, mm -hmm. put it this way, since I downsized the shop, my studio is now a two and a half car garage, and it is full. I have boxes that I haven't even unpacked yet. And I still have two storage units filled with nothing but decorations for the shop. It's like people come in all the time and they're like, oh, my stash. I'm like, oh, really? You got a big stash? Yeah, I have two boxes. 
That's not a stash. That's a project. Yeah. I don't even pretend anymore, <laughs> Stephanie, because guess what? My husband's name is not on my business. Do you know why? Because it ain't none of his business. <laughs> it's mine. All right, now I'm going to do the next side. This is what makes me happy. It's either this, I can't work for anybody anymore. I've been there, done that. It's not, that's not fun for me anymore. I'm not rich and I'm not, I don't even get a paycheck at the shop. What I get is I get to buy what I want and it supports my habit. So I get to have some fun. That's how I get to have fun that I want to. Let me know if you have any questions as I go along. And even when we're done with the video, the questions, you can post them to the uh, Facebook and I'll check them out. Ooh, I lost, you lost the video. Which video? So the kaleidoscope, one of the last videos. Because I can resend it to you. All you got to do is ask, and I will take care of that. Just tell me which one you're missing. So I give all of my blocks that I just sewed pieces an initial an initial um iron which kind of heats it up and then I use best press. Give me one second, okay, everybody? Sorry about that. Okay, next. We're almost done with the first block. And you're going to keep doing this for all 10 blocks.
All right, we've got our four little corners ready. Now we've just got a, once I finish dying, then we're gonna do the cross in the section, in the center. All right. So we've got these four corners done. There, so see, we've got the four corners. Now we've got to take care of this center part. And how we do that is, we're gonna sew two pieces like this before, once we get the two big halves, then we'll sew them together with one piece. I keep the small piece that I just put on on top, iron it to prep it, and then flip it and iron it. That way, all of the seams are going in towards this center piece. Okay? Keep an eye on your seams. Even if you're new to all of this, if you can keep learning how to have neat seams now, it's gonna help you later on when you decide to actually quilt it. Um, it just, it makes it easier quilting because you don't have a big bulky spots. Your needle won't get stuck. It's easier for piecing if you don't have those big bulky spots. So, let's see if I can show you. See how nice and neat all of my seams are going in the same direction. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to take this one and go over here. Depending on your machine, you're going to want to backstitch. I know on the Brothers and the Baby Locks, they have a tendency to want to not have such a tight first stitch or so. If, like this quilt, we're making a lot of blocks before we actually put the quilt sections together. 
so they're going to be sitting around for a while. You're going to want them to be nice and tight so you don't have to go back and re sew them. Now, on this one, All right, we want this seam to go this way towards the center piece. So we want the bigger of the pieces on top. Hey, Becca, how are you? Still there, Miss Becca? All right, so we've got our two halves. Now, I'm gonna take this piece, sew it to one side, and then we're gonna sew it to the other side. All right, when I iron this seam, I'm going to iron with this on top, the piece that we just sewed on, so that when I flip it, the seam is going towards the center. All right, so this is the piece that we just did. Now I'm gonna take our other half, put it on. And you notice I don't use pins. Um, if you feel more comfortable using pins, by all means, go right ahead. Um, but for this one, I'm not really using pins. It's completely a matter of preference. If, I, if I'm if i using pins in a certain area, uh, I will let you know and I'll tell you why. Watch when you're going over your seams. Make sure they stay down. That's all part of having nice, neat seams. All right, I just got one part to iron and the block will be done. You're gonna be chewing 10 blocks total, two of each colorway for this week. Hopefully, 
are able to sew along with me. And we'll get our blocks done. Isn't that cute? I have three done out of 10. But hopefully you are going to have some fun and hopefully you'll learn from my mistakes. If I make any mistakes, I'll let you know. <laughs> so next week, we've got another 10 blocks to do, which are again, pretty simple. So whatever it tells you to cut next week, cut double of what they tell you, because if not, they're going to be like me and have to go back and cut more fabric. Because it's two halves to this butterfly wings. All right. You know where I am. Um, uh, within the next week or so, I will post this to the YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you can comment there or you can comment on the group page. And... Um, I'll get back to you as far as an answer. All right, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have a great day. Bye.